Hello and welcome back to another episode of Wasteland 3. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our blind playthrough of uh, the Supreme Jerk difficulty. I invite you to join me on this third episode. We have accumulated one death in three episodes so far, uh, which is a good ratio for a complete blind playthrough. So what I did is I went through the entire compound again, found uh, that there indeed was a chest with uh, some armor waiting for us, the so-called scrap armor, which I put on to Hawkbite. He looks very cute now and the rest of the armor was divided upon uh, the remaining uh, people. We got um, on top of that another nice little item because we found, uh, where is it? We found a, another charm I think it was. Hmm. Well, maybe I'm wrong. I thought uh, we had a charm. Anyways, uh, we found some uh, alcohol, which of course we're going to give to our slightly drunken hog bite. Drinks to gain 25% more melee damage and then 50% on top of it. Wow, that's really good. So if we're in a tough fight, he's just going to chuck that down like it would be uh, Candy Crush's uh, new energy drink. And yep, that's pretty much all I got for now. So I'll jump right into the episode. We're going to explore the rest of our compound here. Okay, that would be leaving the area. Wait, 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 uh, there is more. Interesting. Good, weapon mod, metal rings attached to your weapon, plus two damage, that is a melee weapon modification apparently. Interesting, wait, 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 nothing, okay, cool. So we can use the Kodiak in order to go somewhere else, <clears throat> which of course we're not going to do right now. Just wanted to double check what else is here. They did a fantastic job in that first base. Careful here. Disarming traps. Didn't I just say careful here? All right, red tech helmet, massive armor, but unfortunately also quite a bit of damage that we got ourselves. Can we rest? Is there a resting button? Well, I suppose there is not. So let's heal up and forget about the fact that that just happened oh boy that was costly not good we need more medical supplies but I think we could craft them at some point for now we just gotta get with uh, what we do have Ooh, that looks more like hog bite it looks a bit like uh, biotech cockbite, but I like the idea. Critical chance and armor. I think that goes. Uh, we're going to put that onto our sniper. And we got a modified weapon. There we go. More melee damage. Got to use all of the tricks in the book, eh? We learned today, don't mess around with traps because they are really, really painful. OK, 
Can we store enemy uh, animals here? Ooh, okay, I see. Cyborg chicken. Wait, wait, wait. There are things, a couple of things that we're finding here. No, I think Major Tomcat is doing a good job for now. You can... You can pick up dog shit. You know what? Why not? Maybe we need it. If it's an item... You can take it. <clears throat> Long Mac to modify a weapon. I think we're going to modify our sniper with that because we're oftentimes running out of ammunition. Armor pads. Some very practical armor pads. More armor. I like that. Crafting component. Fantastic. Good. And we now do have another dog following us. Can we have more than one? I think the answer is no, but I also think... Wait, what? We can have more than one dog? Ooh. Okay, well, we're, let's start with two. We don't want to overdo it, right? We don't want to create the impression of an entire zoo. Making our chest armor harder means a hog bite now has 12 armor for whatever that's worth. He can hopefully withstand a couple of uh, hits. We're now going. Systems act. Pee on the snowballs. You know, why not? Gather yellow snowballs. Okay, fantastic. Good, we don't have... Sometimes we don't have great uh, items that we can use, but apparently yellow snowballs are a thing. So instead of not having anything, might as well put that in there. Let's leave the area. And we're moving downtown Colorado Springs. Downtown Colorado Springs. We need medical supplies because that's our biggest weakness at the moment. Dorsey's gonna die for what they've done. Please, my son's not a Dorsey. Let him go. <laughs> oh, they let them freeze out here. You don't look like marshals. Do you work for the patriarch? For now, yes. Then, then maybe the magistrate will listen to you. Judge Watkins has sentenced my son to die. Austin is all I have left. Everyone else died on the plane. He's a good boy. He never hurt anyone. I'm sure of it. Please. Maybe Watkins will listen to you. Why has your son been sentenced to death? I don't even know why he was rounded up. He won't tell me. Says he's embarrassed. I know they caught him doing something wrong. If you talk to him, maybe he'll tell you what happened. Sometimes it's easier to talk to a stranger than your mother. Sure, when death is on the line, that sounds very realistic. What's your story? Our family escaped the wars in the East tried to make our way across the plains. My husband, father's son, my daughters, one by one, picked off and killed. Now it's just Who's your son? Peas, the skinny boy up on the platform. I can't imagine he killed anyone. We've seen enough death. Please, help my son. All right, so... Austin, my dude, what's wrong with you? 
The teenage prisoner goes and pale, his hair trussled and greased, his face angular with hunger. He stares at the um, pillories with dread, swallowing occasionally. He sees you staring at him, snaps back Sorry, to reality. I didn't, I didn't mean to ignore you. Just got a lot, a, a lot on my mind. How do you get in trouble? I made a real big mistake. See, the Plains gangs chased my mom and me off our land. We lost everything. Heard this was a place of God-fearing people and thought they'd do right by us. People here kept us out in the cold, letting us starve to death while they sat inside, warm and fed. And the Dorseys came and gave me some food, some kindness, and asked me to do some vandalism. Figured what was the harm. I never killed no one, but I did bust some windows. Marshals caught me doing it, and they said I was working with the Dorseys. Magistrate agreed. So, here I am. Mom would have tucked me out of it. Why did you do it? Starving. No two ways about it. We were going to die. Dorsey's gave us food. I figured a few windows was a worthwhile trade for the bread and meat that saved our lives. Doesn't sound like the punishment for it's the crime. It was too harsh. But what happens if I speak up now? Come after my mom? I can't take the chance. Got a daring oh, escape plan? I was never no desperado. Don't rightly know why I let myself get caught up in this. But if I'm to die, I'd at least like to do that right. I'm gonna do that like a man. What's your sentence? Me it's dead. They're gonna strip me down, tie me to those things. Then they're gonna let the cold do its work. I wonder if it'll Wish I could tell you it won't, kid, but that'd be a lie. Let's say we can free you. What's that worth to you? A hard man. I wish I could believe it at work. I'd do anything for someone who could get me free without hurting anybody in the process. Yes, I don't have any money to give you, but I I'd pay you back in hard work if you'll have me. Do you have any useful skills? I hard work around the homestead. And I ain't too bad with a gun either. My folks made sure I could hunt and fight. I always dreamed of coming to the big city and being a newspaper man. You know, I was talking to you. All right, so the magistrate. That will be a difficult conversation. The star man uh, looks out uh, the pillories with an expression of grim satisfaction. He swallows skin, pulls tight over his face. And his thin lips pressed together um, in a hard line. Howdy, Judge. How's your heart? Still colder than a well digger's ass? Marshal Kwan. Impertinent as ever, I see. Okay, they too have history. Rangers, I am Magistrate Silas Watkins. I have heard of your arrival. Partly from the confessions of the Dorsey Raiders, you'll be pleased to know that I sentenced them to death for their part in the attack on the city and your convoy which reminds me that dorsey you requested stand trial <laughs> he was clearly guilty and sentenced to the pillories a waste of my time he did have this note though which you may find interesting Austin piece so the note that we've just gotten was from the guy that in season two or episode two that we uh, saved or sent to a trial right at the beginning Austin P says he didn't kill His anyone crimes are still severe he was part of the Dorsey uprising he caused significant property damage his actions diverted marshals from responding to reports of attacks magnifying the harm the Dorseys were able to inflict Argue a case, and I might show lenience. What if the Rangers were to pay for his damages and assume guardianship over the boy? You wish to compensate the city and the owners of the damaged properties for their losses. That's the price in Colorado dollars. <sighs> Do we want that? Is the guy worth 200? Hmm, it's tough times, but I want to play as lawful as possible. Fortunately, we don't have barter for 
Nor do we have kisses for... Mm. We can't pay that right now. Understand that the law cannot wait until you have the means to pay. The boy will go to the pillory soon. His time is short. He's not a bad kid, and uh, he and he's all his mother has. Kill him, and you might as well kill her too. That's a stupid line. He's too young for their sentence. Uh, surely you can offer him mercy. some mercy. I do not see the word in my law books. The patriarch has charged me to dispense justice, not mercy. Indeed. Okay. If we could get central skills up just a little bit more. One skill point is all we need to get KS4, which should be enough to uh, free Austin. But I'm not sure if that will work right now. Two hundred dollars is a bit stiff because we might need that. It's almost it, it's ninety percent of the money that we do have. Or can we try to uh, find oh, Sheriff Station. Daisy? Right over there. You can't miss the pillories out front. Sure has. Dorsey's got into the city, but nobody knows how. It took a while, but Sheriff Daisy and the Marshals beat him back. Now they're holed up. Be careful. It might still be Dorsey's hiding out in the city. Brave Marshal, stop Dorsey's at palace gates. Pace Good more snow piles. And we got a few more crafting components. They won't be scared of a scrawny old man. A scrawny old man with a shotgun. Hang on, I'm not that old. Oh, just put down. Come, Sarnet. You Dorsey peckerheads, get on out of there. Hush up now, Josiah. You can't go in there alone. You think I can't handle myself? I've put down worse than these in my time. Oh, since when? You've been a shopkeeper all your <laughs> life. Will you help me talk some sense into this old fool? If he goes after those Dorseys, he'll get himself killed. What's going on here? Dorsey bastards are hiding out in my shop. My shop. Finest clothing store in the whole dang town. So I'm going in after him. You want some help killing the uh, Dorseys? Fine. We're in. Someone with some spine. I do it all myself. Josiah, don't you do this. Let these people. Ha well, I'm ready when you are. Actually, we'll handle this ourselves. You stay Thank here. You. Keep killing my. You do this well. Go on then. All right, couple of little quests here. I can already see the Dorsey ambusher there. Dude. You are aware that we can see you, right? Alright. Split up the group. And let's do a couple of things. Number one. Shit, Hotlanders! We thought you was all dead! Back off! Murphy crouches there. Uh, we're going to put central to here. Heavy weapons guy Ramos. Okay, this guy has a heavy weapon. There's another guy. We're barely reaching these fools. I think we're better off. Ah, that calls for an explosion don't like it I done told you don't come any closer 
You morons hold up in a clothing store, put on some new dots, and walk out of town. Can we just kill? No, no, just don't get away. Boy, thanks again for taking mm. care of those dorses. I thought we can shoot them. We'll clean up the old store and make it good as new. Pretty soon we'll be selling suits, pants, and here. A little token of our... Come on back after we reopen the shop. Dang it. How could I... Well, at least we saved some mats, right? Right, Saiken? Some more funds. We're getting there. Finally some mats. Some more ammunition. Well, so much for that. Oh, there's a trader snapping Jimmy Bob. I like that. This here's Market Square. The Arapaho Garage is just outside the city gates. My old friend Doc Parker set up a clinic there. Parker's the best doctor in town. Be a hell of an asset if we can persuade him to join the Rangers. Careful, though. The Doc is prickly at the best of times. And these are not the best of times. Snapper Jimmy Bob's still standing. <laughs> New faces. Let me know if you need to restock. That's snapping Jimmy Bob. Not that much to tell. My dad was a trader and a good one. And now, oh, that's my prophet. Okay. Wow. Okay. So he has uh, plenty of ammo. He does have nice little weapon modifications. All of that is good. I like it. He has a Snickers bar. That in itself is great. So food apparently does healing. Okay. I like it. Does he have alcohol? Because that would be important. Beef, chips, lots of smokes. Decoy that fools the target into attacking it. Okay, you can buy mimic beacons. Cool. Okay, so what are we going to do? Crafting. Lots of crafting components. We don't need that. Yeah, where are where's all of the junk? Can can't we just sell the junk? Okay, apparently not. The whole reason why I wanted to do that. Can we sell that? Yeah, we could, but he's not giving us anything. Hmm. Ah, that is unfortunate. Continuing to digging through junk piles is all we can do. Well, what are you supposed to do at the beginning of an RPG, right? Salvation oh, nice. Money. So here we got drink. Uh, here we got uh, the drunken status. And how much does it cost? Price 10. Price 20. Mm. Price 25. Good. That's a bit expensive, but we got some healing items here. And I think uh, we should. 
maybe buy two. It's not great, but we need it. And buy two medkits as well. Three medkits, actually. You know what? By thinking about it, three is good. And two times boost. I think we're going to get that money back over time. Oh, wait. Well, I just saw a button. I just saw a button. Sell junk. Fantastic. Good. We sold the junk. Got enough so that we're still over that um, mark of 200 that we might need. Uh, we're going to put good medical care items in here. Okay, cool. So we're okay with medical care. Jesus, loaves and fishes, Christ! That's a bomb under my stall, ain't it? Oh, oh shit, Taiwan. God, it is. We best stay back. God damn it! Where are the marshals? They've got their hands full licking their wounds. You're gonna be waiting a while. Back up slowly. We'll take the marshals hours to take care of. Holy mackerel! Better stay back from my stall. We defuse the mine. That's great. I'm back in business. Welcome to the freshly reopened time. You didn't hear this from me, Franz. But Sardine. Oh, nice. That's the store we've been looking for, right? We're finally getting the good stuff. But how much does the helmet? 160. All right. Uh, yeah, we're not buying anything here for now. Although. Fresh guns are definitely worth uh, looking at it. At the moment we do have okay level guns, so I think we're fine. But kind of a level 9 weapon isn't bad either. Hmm. Yeah, we're not going to spend all of our money on a, sing a single weapon. I don't know what we would find. I've never done that in any of the RPGs. Keep the money, you can always use it a little bit later. I don't take her fine. Fine. It's the garden of the gods. Rocks, experimental Sheriff Daisy say so. Nope. Good, that's no where the enemies room. are. We're going to find that ver out very sh uh, soon. No. Wow, this is so well done. Exploring the town is a lot of fun at the moment. And we haven't even started inside there. Boss said we're closed till further notice. All right. Crafting components, I like that. Junk, more armor. Good, I think we're just going to modify this armor. No. Modify this armor. Yes, thank you. More snowballs if we wanted them. Crafting components. Penetration, max damage. Okay. More movement speed and more crafting components. You know, it's actually not too bad. Modify this armor, get leg armor in, fantastic, and continue to modify the sniper. So that our sniper is doing damage. I didn't mean to call uh, Crackles a woman's voice addressing you. Don't you know the city's on lockdown? I'm not opening the door to nobody. Go away. Okay. Hey, take a look at what.
but he's Marshall's and Dorsey's got a... Those Marshall's were colleagues of mine. I'm gonna guess you didn't kill him, but you need to put all those valuables back and walk away. Fat chance. We got guns and ammo now. We don't take orders from Marshall's. Oh, yeah. I was hoping that that would be the answer. What? 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 Wait, what? Why are they getting the first turn? Alright, Major Tom doesn't take shit from him. The dog is good as well. We unfortunately took... Uh, we're not in the best uh, position to begin with. Um, I tell you what. Let's get rid of this thief here. One hit. Not enough AP. Well, then we're just going to slice him up, I suppose. Alright, central. Hmm. Ramos. <laughs> um, does Ramos have a good place to put himself? Yes, right there isn't bad. But Ramos also needs to heal up first because that was a pretty painful lesson. What do we have? Center mass, uh, taking down clean, reliable attack, puncturing shot, punctures through multiple enemies. How would that look? Oh yeah, that would be good. Killed it. Nice. <laughs> Very good. So the marshal took him down and then defends his current position. I like uh, that. Still have a lot to deal with. Unfortunately, Murphy does not get him down completely. Central helps uh, to move in. Ramos moves in as well. Uses a snowball. Okay, that guy at least caught something that's not bad. And then we're saving AP for next turn. <clears throat> not very surprising. We're taking a lot of uh, damage in return. They are completely ignoring the animals. We're moving up. Hokwai teaches them a valuable lesson and then hunkers down. The thief leader is getting some nice little kill, uh, traction there. Fifty-five percent to kill him. Let's try that. 
Unfortunate. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Ramos is bleeding. And we need to stop that. Don't need a smoke grenade now. <clears throat> we'll take the closer ranged weapon. And might be able to kill this guy. Well, halfway. Not fully. Preparing for next turn. What is that? Animal Whisperer? Yeah, we don't have any of that. We're just crouching down. Murphy is not hitting anything today. Ashquan moves over. Central begins to heal his friends. And then overwatches. Ramos goes into full cover. And we need to shortly start treating Ramos. Uh, I think we had those injury kits. Yep. Oh, he's... Okay, it's going away automatically. Uh... Phew. That was rather intense. Hope it gets healed. If we would have uh, found any food by now, we could heal us that way, but that's not an option, unfortunately. And I think we soon need to buy new medical equipment. I will go for those medipacks because they are more cost efficient. Uh, Central did get a level though. Which we're continuing with more uh, charisma. And we definitely are going to use one point for KSS because that's important. Barta 4 would be good as well. But I think I want to upgrade automatic weapons next. Hmm, can we make Central our first aid officer as well? He already does have barter, hardest kisses, and leadership. That's four skills. I don't think he can. Let's stick with automatic weapons and all of uh, these skills. And confirm it. In terms of perks. 
Oh, okay, I see. So now we can actually buy the perks. Now we can buy them. You need to buy perks. So, more quick slots, more armor, more hit points, more evasion, more crit resistance. All of that is not too bad. Automatic weapons, um, fires and assault rifle, punctures through multiple enemies. That was really good. That was really good. Tears up enemies with twice as many SMG bullets. Um, lower hit chance. That isn't bad either. I like it. Less benefit from cover when attacking with assault rifles. Hmm, that sounds like a extra good ability because it effectively will make us hit more often. But I think we're going to go for the puncturing shot because I really like that one. Although the spray and prey isn't bad either. Minus 25% hit chance, but he could get someone down. But this here isn't bad either. How often are they lined up? Maybe not that often. So we're going to go with spray and pray. Very good. Okay. Well... We got ourselves an injury pack, some healing and money, some more armor and money, some more money, a normal pistol and some more healing, and more healing. I think the game already knew why why they gave us uh, that. Oh, it's a heavy weapons guy. Can I give you this? Is this a usable flamethrower? Oh, that's an ammunition for a flamethrower. Never mind. So, no, I cannot give you that. How many rockets do we ha uh, have? Okay, that's only one. Hmm. Good. Let's stick with armor for now. And we got a nice little small weapon here. Semi-automatic pistol. No, 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 no. We're going to use our level 5 sniper rifle. Oh, but we're still going to give you a small pistol. Uh, because sniper rifles in this game do have a penalty when you're shooting up close. I've already noticed that. Plus, we want to spread out the ammunition a little bit. Might put that onto you. This weapon is absolutely insane. Level 3 Bunker Buster. Level 9 Automatic Shotgun. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Well, now that becomes interesting because although... He's not the type who's going to run with a shotgun often. He got the point blank ability, turn them into a blood sausage. <laughs> Plus 100% damage. Okay, maybe we're going to get a shotgun wielder as well. That seems like a fun way to build a character. Cool. Well, let's lockpick our way in here. A couple of animatronics. We don't know what those guys are. I get the feeling that 
uh, once we're going through here, all of uh, these guys are switching up and becoming yeah, lively. Mechanical Eagle in red, white, and blue tops. Are you the Look American like Eagle? Picture, don't I? I, I gotta admit, though, I'm looking better than I was. Great! Youngest son of the Buchanan clan. Brave survivors of the fall of man. Baby Saul grew straight like a tree. Could swing a sledgehammer before he was three. Good, with more mechanics we could open that one. But we're missing the mechanic in this case. Well the Dorsey thought they had a better idea. Believe they could rule by murder and fear. Tried to steal cost with the families behind us all went to war. Good, let's look at all of the things. Maybe we're getting a little bit of a bonus if we're actually looking at all of the anim uh, animations. Okay, so this here would be the jackpot getting in here, but we don't have mechanics now, for now. So that'll need to wait a little bit longer. Let's finish that trial first. Because now we do have better barter, uh, barter skills. Rangers, what brings you here? As I said, you can argue his case. Mm. I, this is irregular, but it is within my powers to grant you full custody of Austin. Any further infractions he may commit are the ranger's responsibility. I would recommend keeping him out of court. You should inform the boy. Best he hears the good news from you. Still here. Now looking forward to what comes next. We talked to the magistrate. He said we can release you, but you will be working what? for us now. Are you serious? You really saved my life and as soon as they let me free... I'm going straight to you. Thank you. Say thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Rangers. I can't wait to get out of here. It's not fair. You Rangers are heroes. I'm going to tell everyone what you did for my son. Rangers, what brings you here? They are the only instrument of old oh, as much. And no, and see, I'll follow principles set forth at the second found for minor. Proceed. Indeed. Good, I think we could go in uh, there, but I also think uh, that there is more exp uh, to explore in that entire town. We haven't even scratched the surface yet, not really. So, as much as it pains me, guys, I think we're needing to make that a two-parter. It's just too much to explore. What can I say? If I just glance over all of these things, then uh, that would, wouldn't do the really well-built-up environment justice, wouldn't it? Anyways, that's the end of episode number three. We still only clocked one death so far, although we had a harsh firefight. Um, and I am enjoying every little bit of Wasteland uh, 3 so far. Let me know which one uh, is your favorite character in the comments down below to get the algorithm started and uh, hit the like button, else I hit you with a yellow snowball. Alright, take a good one and see you soon. Bye bye.